All right, lads, here we go with today's video. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed the double upload yesterday. I, uh, I also enjoyed making the videos for you guys. If you guys don't know, I am currently in lockdown for six days. So, you guys got to be prepared for a whole lot of content to come out. Speaking of content, the NBA draft was indeed yesterday. Well, yesterday for me, uh, but as of recording it today, you know what I mean? Yeah, so the NBA draft was yesterday, and uh, Anthony Edwards went number one to the Minnesota Timberwolves. So it only makes sense to do a Minnesota Timberwolves Anthony Edwards rebuild. If you guys are new around here, please be sure to go down there, subscribe. I post my league videos every single day and because I'm in lockdown, I'm trying to post two times a day. So go down, subscribe to keep up to date with that. You know, turn on the bell, all that stuff. And if you've already done that, be sure to like the video. Liking it does indeed help us out a bunch. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying the videos and watching, wanting to see more. So please go down there, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave a comment, how your day's going. I want to know how your day's going. All right, I've done some something right now uh, as you guys can see on screen we have ourselves a little box around me look at this we have a box it's crazy a box uh, that will be there until I have a green screen but we are gonna be doing an Anthony Edwards Minnesota Timberwolves rebuild today I have uh, done the top 10 picks uh, they're the only ones that are accurate right now everyone else that was outside the top 10 is not an accurate pick right now uh, what we had to do was simulate a season ahead, so we are currently in the NBA off-season. It does say September 16th, 2021, so that means we do have the free agents for 2021 in the free agency class. The best way I could do it until 2K fixes the rosters because it's all messed up and stuff is the best way that I can think of doing it. Team player options are Koji, so we're basically going to start from in a season. Yeah, if that makes sense. Uh, so, Juwan Hernan Gomez, Malik Beasley, I would like to bring back. Jordan McLaughlin, if he'd want to come back, I wouldn't mind saying yes to him. So, we definitely don't have any cap space here for anybody. I would re-sign Malik Beasley. I'm also going to re-sign Juwan Hernan Gomez. And also, you know what? That's about it. That's all that I'm going to re-sign. I don't really care too much about James Johnson, Evan Turner, or anything like that. I don't care too much about him. So Anthony Davis with negative 31 million in the cap. I don't think there's uh, any way we're going to be getting rid of that. So Jay Culver, I would like to progress in this game. Josh Koji, you're nice. But, but, we do have ourselves Jack Culver. <laughs> and Mo Bamba, mm, he's a young center we can try and build around. Excuse my phone, let me put that on silent. So yeah, Mo Bamba is definitely a young center that we could develop here. Uh, we're probably going to be mm, playing him at the power forward. You know what? No, we got Carl Anthony. Carl Anthony Towns is 25, lad. We don't need Mo Bamba. We don't need Mo Bamba. We need ourselves a power forward. So Mo with Juwan Hernan Gomez. We need ourselves a power forward. Draymond Green. Not exactly what we're looking for. We'll grab up Eric Bledsoe for now. Just try and get ourselves a little bit of value here. Eric Bledsoe with this Timberwolves first round pick that has two stars. Can we get ourselves a power forward? That is a no. We can get Zach Levine though. I don't necessarily want myself Zach Levine. Marvin Bagley. He's a young power forward that we can definitely use on the team. So Marvin Bagley, you can come onto the squad. Uh, small forward, we do have Jarrett Culver. We should be fine there. We could afford to bring in Dennis Schroeder. Bro, bro. Dennis Schroeder to come off of our bench, lad. Damn, son. Dennis Schroeder to come off of the bench. We'll add Boban Marjanovic. And we'll also uh, add Elson Ilyasova. We'll add JJ Barea. Bro, we've got, we're getting deals here, lad. We're getting deals. Just because of all the confusion and stuff to the rosters and how where I'm starting, uh, I am going to make it only a two-season rebuild. I'm sorry if it's a little bit short, uh, but I am only going to make it a two-season rebuild. We're going to go perimeter defense to D'Angelo Russell, and we're also going to go big man defense to Carl Anthony Towns because, trust me, that thing needs to get up there. I mean, he needs some perimeter defense. So we've added Dennis Schroeder as our backup point guard. I'm okay with that for now. I'm definitely okay with it. Boban, we're just going to be moving players' positions here just to try and get the most value out of them. So this top four. This top four, we're not moving. 
they're probably the four that we're not going to be touching. That's our young core. Uh, that's definitely going to develop some very nicely for us. Dennis Schroeder, I want to keep. I want to experiment with John De Dennis Schroeder today. Uh, and probably Jarrett Culver. We're not going to be moving on from Jarrett Culver either. So we just need to figure out our bench, if possible. Uh, we can get ourselves a Keldon Johnson to come off of our bench. Or Jalen Brunson and Dion Waiters. I'll take Jalen Brunson. We don't need a point guard because we do have Schroeder. Hmm. Her, shit. So that means we could say goodbye to Brunson, go Avery Bradley and Brunson. What do we need? Ooh, a center. That's what we need, lad. We needed a center. How about it? We got ourselves a center off the bench in Mitchell Robinson. Damn, son. We need literally everybody position off the bench. Let's just put it that way. Uh, could we get ourselves a small forward in Royce O'Neal? Royce is making so much money, though, bro. If we chuck, because we're contending for this season, if we chuck this out, this first out there, we can get Daniel Tice. We'll take it because I think Daniel Tice, moving to the power forward, we could probably get ourselves something quite nice with Jacob Evans. Jay Crowder and Avery Bradley. That definitely sorts out two forward positions for us. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn, yeah, we're definitely good. We just got a bunch of like low level guys if we can try joe harris he's got a decent he should have decent ball decent ball decent minutes on a squad like this we can go bruno fernando we'll take it we can move iggy to the small forward he's only going to go up iggy has a cheap contract we're good uh and what else, what other cheap uh, guys we are not going to be playing iggy and Ilya sova we're probably not going to be playing at all take jaleel over for you know what? We got a couple of players here that are going to be handy. Like if we go Crowder and Okafor, we could get ourselves uh, Robert Covington. I mean, but we got Jay Crowder. We don't need Covington. You know, we got Miles Bridges and Mello. But you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. Sure, Mello's getting paid, but we can move that contract with someone else. Like if we go Mello with Avery Bradley, what else could we get? We can get Clint Capella to come off of a bench. Like, like it, it's. <laughs> Worth it, and then we can go Clint Capella, pair him with a Joe Harris, and we can get what a Gallinari, a Dejounte Murray to come off of a damn bench with Tristan Thompson. Bro, bro, we got Dejounte Murray as a backup shooting guard to Anthony Edwards. Like, yeah, it's done for out here. It's done for. We got Tristan Thompson that we can move to the power forward. Yeah, no, we just made this team bloody brilliant. I don't even think we need a second season. Rui Hachimura, you're a decent player, young guy. Let's do this. Rotation here for this sec first season, sorry. Angelo, Ed Edwards, Bridges, Bagley, and Towns. I am not starting Miles Bridges over Jarrett Culver. Unless I... No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Unless I did. I was going to say unless I sent him down to the G League, but no, I'm not doing it. We are also going to be playing a 10-man rotation, Mike Storfer. A 10-man rotation. No, none of this 9-man or any... Thing like that, we're going to be going a, night, a 10 man rotation. Uh, we'll be making sure that Jarrett Culver gets quite a decent amount of minutes as a starting small forward because I want to see him progress. Like, I do want to see him progress. All right, I want him playing 30 minutes a night. D Lo can play a bit, and uh, yeah, let's hope that for the best. There, we're going to go Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell, and I'm going to put Anthony Edwards as our third scoring option there. Perimeter sent. Ooh, a seven second system, hey? Let's try that. And we are the projected seventh seed. Let's see what happens. All right, so we end up going 58 and 24. LeBron wins himself MVP. LaMelo wins rookie of the year. On the Hornets. Good on him. Anthony Edwards wins six man. I must have accidentally made uh, pressed CPU and, you know, they've done the madness thing there. We finish as a one seed. Yeah, I did. Pr oh, he's now... Uh, Starting over DeJounte. I don't know what's going on there, mate. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But D'Angelo put up 23, 2, and 7. Anthony Edwards put up 19, 4, and 3. Imagine if he was freaking starting. G Buzz. 18, 8, and 5 for Carl Anthony Towns. 13, 5, and 6 for DeJounte. 12, 7, and 1 for Marvin Bagley. 11, 3, and 1 for Miles Bridges. 7, 1, and 3 for Dennis Schroeder. What did uh, Jarrett Culver? I was expecting a bit better from you, buddy. We were, the bear, we were the fourth best offensive team. Our defense was the sixth best, and our differential was the fourth best. Okay, can we maybe go on to the finals? That would be cool. 
the Lakers here, who still have LeBron and AD, and have added Stephen Adams and now Horford, uh, they're going to give us a run for, the, for our money, are they? 3-2. And we get eliminated in six, seven games. That's what I mean, seven games. I love that when that happens, man. Who else loves it? The Celtics win this chip, and uh, Jason Tatum wins himself finals MVP. So, yeah, like I said, it's only going to be two seasons. Uh, so, yeah, be, be prepared. We've got another, only one more season here. So, if we don't win... I mean, if we don't win, I might give it a third. I might give it a third season or well, see what happens. But for now, we are only going to be playing the two seasons. Uh, so, yeah, we'll sign Amir Siler from the NBA draft. Sure, why not? Rui and Jay Culver, sure. Uh, Marvin Bagley, I would like back. Same with uh, your, your boy, Miles Bridges. Uh, I would like him back very, very, very much. Uh, so, ba Bagley, he wants a bit of a bag. So, yeah, we'll offer him money. Mitchell Robinson wants himself some money. Miles Bridges wants himself some money. Uh, and uh, hopefully we're not too far over the hard cap here. So, uh, what else can we do here? Jay Crowder, Derek Favors. Jay Crowder, let's offer Jay some money here, boys. We'll offer Jay some money, and we can move him to the small forward. Right, we can move him to the small forward. Pair him with... I'll go Miles Bridges, and we could get ourselves Kelly Oubre in a first. I guess I'll take it. Because Kelly Oubre is probably is, is decent. He's he's all right. He's all right. We'll go. Oh no, we cannot wait. What? What? Hold up. Miles Turner. Hola, papi. Or OG Ananobi. I do see that, but I like this Miles Turner deal. I like Miles Turner. Let's get him. Let's get it. We're moving to the power forward. Miles goes up to an 86 overall. Damn, boy. Uh, Miles Turner, Bagley is a no, uh, has a no trade clause, so yeah, I didn't expect anything to pop up there. Uh, Mitchell Robinson and Miles Turner can get us MPJ. Damn, boy. Or we can get MPJ, or we can get Clint Capella and John Isaac. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get Clint Capella and John Isaac. We're going to play Clint at the center position for our squad. He's going to be our backup five. Uh, and then what we're going to do, we're going to move Jonathan Isaac because I don't want to pay him $30 million a season. If we move John Isaac, and I'm going to have to say goodbye to Jarrett Culver here for a better starting small forward. I was hoping one came up, but no. We can get Bam out of bio. TJ Warren. We'll do it. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do it. I'll do it. I get Bam. Moving to the four. Bam becomes a 91 overall pair here but with the boy Jay Culver. Can we get ourselves a small forward? Still no. What the heck is, man? What the heck is? Okay, so we'll try and get Jimmy Butler here. We'll try and get Jimmy. Uh, but if not, then I'm quite happy to fall back on Ben Simmons. Although we no longer have all those first round picks. So we might have to fall back on Ben Simmons. Okay. I'll chuck in PJ Washington. Okay, that works. <laughs> we just got ourselves Ben Simmons for Bam Adebayo and what's his face? Uh, <laughs> PJ Washington. Gee whiz. I, I bet, I bet. Uh, we got shooting guards. We got small forwards out our ass right now. So TJ Warren will pair with Jarrett Culver. And we can get ourselves Vucevic and Aaron Gordon or go bear. I think I'm going to go with Vucevic and Aaron Gordon for the fills out two more positions. It means we have Nikola Vucevic as our backup point guard, uh, center bro. If we can get a better backup small forward for Aaron Gordon and Reggie Jackson, we're, we're easy. We're done. Easy peasy. Like, I'll even chuck in this first round pick here. Come on. Ooh, Trez. I see you, boy. I see you. I see you. I see you, boy. Here we go. We'll get you. We'll move you to the power forward and then we can get you. Wait. We need a power forward, didn't we? No, we need a small forward. Ah, bamboozled. Uh, okay, so the, it's been a bit. Uh, we did just trade Montrezl Harrell for Michael Porter Jr. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. is now our backup small forward to Ben Simmons. And I think this team is uh, it, it's, it's good. It's definitely good. So, like, if we don't win the championship here, I'm going to be actually hurt, you know. If we don't win the championship, I'm going to be, I'm actually going to hurt. I'm going to hurt. It's going to hurt, you know? So we've got a D'Angelo Russell, Anthony Edwards, Ben Simmons, Marvin Bagley, and Carl Anthony Towns starting five. We then have Vucevic, MPJ, DeJounte Murray, Rory Hachimura, and Dennis Schroeder coming off our bench. We're actually going to change up the scoring options here. Ben Simmons, Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell. Then we're going to be just keeping it at a seven-second system. 
but we are the projected one seed. So let's see what happens, lads. I only got the one all-star this year, and that is Ben Simmons. I do not see anybody else, which is upsetting, but, uh... Okay. <laughs> Luka Doncic wins himself MVP, putting up 34, 11, and 9. We actually go 70 and 12, which is um, almost a record season. Cade Cunningham wins himself Rookie of the Year. Buddy Hield, sixth man, putting up 21 points. Damn. Damn. Jay Culver, of course, as soon as we trade him, it gets most improved, and uh, we get Coach of the Year. Do we get any Minnesota Timberwolves on all NBA teams? That'd be dope. But uh, no, we don't, even though we went 70 and 12. That makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? They want to start DeJounte Murray over Anthony Edwards right now. You know what? I'll let them do that thing. I'll let them do that, do their thing for now. Uh, D'Angelo put up 12, 2, and 8. Ben Simmons put up 19, 5, and 6. Carl Towns, 16, 7, and 4. Anthony Edwards put up 13, 3, and 4. Michael Porter Jr., 12, 5, and 1. So, like, it was, we had a very, very deep scoring team. Uh, we only had three players that didn't have double digits in scoring. Offensively, we were the best offense. Defensive, we were the best defense. And we were the best team altogether. Let's see what happens. We sweep past the Houston Rockets. Do they want to restart? Yeah, they do want to start Anthony Edwards once again. We're taking on the Lakers. And I... Uh, wait, who do the Lakers even have? They have added Marcus Smart. I don't like that at all. But we're up 3-1, though. Taking on the two-seated Suns. Who still have... Oh, no, they have George Hill. Devin Booker, Jaron Jackson, DeAndre. That's a decent back front court, you know. Decent front court. Damn, son. And oh my goodness. It got really freaking close. And I got scared. We, we, we've actually won in six games. We've taken on defended champion Boston Celtics, who are starting Taco Fall at the center. We're up 2 1. Can we potentially win the championship? We're NBA champions for the second final season. D'Angelo Russell finals MVP. I would have guessed Ben Simmons, but good on you, mate. Good freaking on you. So yeah, we had a bloody good team. I know it's not realistic because I don't do realistic rebuilds on this channel, uh, but that's absolutely amazing. But yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. It does help show support for the channel, helps us out heaps, lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos. It'll be absolutely amazing. We're also trying to hit 3K subscribers, so if you're new, share the video around, try and get everyone you know to subscribe. It'll be absolutely amazing. It's a personal goal of mine to hit 3K. And yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see uh, in the future. I, like I said, I'm in six day lockdown right now, so for six days, you're going to be getting non-stop content you're probably going to be getting two videos and a live stream a day plus content on tiktok as much as possible so follow me on both tiktok twitter youtube everything that'd be absolutely awesome most of it should be down in the description if not just type in cam rebuilds and i should be there but that's that's enough from me you guys are probably going to get sick of me by the end of this week so that's going to be enough from me i'll catch you guys in the next one peace